Hello guys, I'm your host William and today we're going to talk about a 2013 minuscule Valley of the Lost Ants movie. A married couple goes to a remote area in the woods for a picnic without knowing what's going to happen. They are enjoying the fresh air for sure. The woman knows she is about to give birth all of a sudden. Her husband quickly gets his stuff and hers and goes to the car with them. In their hurry, they forget to pick up the blanket and food. In the meantime, the insects in the forest keep living their lives. Under one of the leaves, three tiny ladybugs hatch and drop to the ground right away. The baby's parents fly up to them. They show the kids how to spread their wings and fly. At first, it's hard for the ladybugs to fly. One of them falls on a rock with its legs up. But soon the babies start to copy their parents and learn how to do things better and better. The family is flying over the river grasses. One of the little ladybugs hears uncontrollable laughter coming from the bushes, so she leaves her family. Her curiosity makes her follow a small fly that keeps laughing deeper and deeper into the forest. The fly sits on a stump with glee, and a ladybug lands next to it and wants to meet right away. Because big flies land on them, they buzz around the ladybug and make it feel scared. The scared ladybug jumps up and tries to get away from the flies that are attacking it, but the flies keep going after it. The ladybug doesn't know how strong she is, hits a rock and slides down into a crack. The fly loses one wing, flies around it for a bit longer, then flies away. The ladybug wakes up and tries to fly, but with only one wing, it's almost impossible. It starts to rain in the evening. The ladybug climbs out of the crack and sends out a distress signal, but no one comes. The single bug walks around in the open looking for a place to stay out of the rain. It sleeps in a sugar box that people have left out for it. The ladybug wakes up in the morning to a loud buzzing sound. It thinks outside the box and sees a lot of caterpillars, beetles, and other bugs carrying human food back to their homes. The flies take the chips, the bed bugs share the cookies in a box of matches, but soon after they drop the matches and run off to find other treats, a group of black s walks by their leader, smells sugar, and rushes towards the box. When the ladybug sees it, it climbs into the box. The ant isn't paying attention to the ladybug. He smells and tastes the sugar. With just one bite, he goes crazy with joy. He throws up with joy. The tea tells the other ants to stop what they are doing and run to the box. That's what the other ants do. They gather under the box, pick it up, and carry it to their ant hill. So, the ladybug travels a long way. Soon, the ants will tip the box, and the sugar cubes will fall on the ladybug. She tries to hold on. But when the ants throw the box off a rock, the ladybug falls out and doesn't feel too hot. The ants pick up the sugar and try to help the person who fell. The bugs are now noticed by a lizard. It hides behind a rock and lets out a battle cry that sounds like a hunter. The ants hide behind sugar pieces and are scared. The lizard gets close to the leader of the ants and gets ready to eat him. But the ladybug quickly comes to her senses, climbs into the box, and starts making very scary noises from inside. The reptile. The animal runs away and hides between two rocks. Danger is no longer there. Around the box, the ants gather to talk to their savior. The ladybug says that she is not able to fly. The ants then invite her to stay at their anta. The parade keeps going, but now the ladybug is sitting on top of the box with the ant leader who owes her his life. Once the ant leader is up on a high rock, he tells the rest of the ants to wait for them with their valuable cargo. Soon, a group of angry red ants sees the group and comes to attack. They stand in the way of the black ants and look at the sugar box with the look of crooks. The boss of the black ants tells the others to stop. He takes one sugar cube out of the box and gives it to the red ants. Then he runs away quickly and tells his team to get the box. The red ants are mad that they didn't get all the sugar. They took their goods and went after the black ants. The black ants see that they are getting close to a steep slope. They get on top of the box, shake it, and then push it down. The box goes down the slope quickly. The red ants find a soda can right away. Can they get inside the can and push it down the hill? Soon, the box of black ants and the can of red ants fall off the mountain and into the river. They then move downriver. The red ants keep going after each other. Even though there are rapids and other things in the way, the ladybug falls out of the box because of a strong push. Here, Pike sees it and starts to chase after it. The ladybug moves quickly down. Even though the pike hits some rocks, it keeps swimming, looking for food. The black ants decide to help a new friend who is in trouble. They hold on to each other and link up to make a chain. This is how they go underwater to get the ladybug. Now, a huge waterfall stands in their way. The bugs quickly climb into the box and drop from a great height. A pike and a jar of red ants fly after them. The pike and the jar get stuck at the bottom. But the red ants manage to float up the black ants and the ladybug get the remaining sugar cubes from the box and keep going to the ant hill. As they keep walking, 
the ladybug hears a buzzing sound she has heard before. She sees another group of her kind. The ladybug tries to fly up to them, but she can't stay in the air because one wing is broken. She went after. The red ants catch up with the black ants the next day. As they cross the road, the black ants don't stop and take their chances. Even though a car is coming, the leader of the red ants runs after it right away. But the other ants stay where they are, trembling and spread out. The black ants are able to stay alive after being hit by the car. Soon, they get there without any trouble. The ladybug also goes in. Here, everyone is busy. If the queen is happy, each worker ant brings her harvest to her. She gives one egg. When her uterus tastes the sugar, she goes crazy and lays a bunch of eggs right away. In the meantime, the leader of the red ants finds out where the black ant hill is. He is so angry that he runs to tell his queen. She tells the red ants to get ready for an attack right away. A huge group of red ants rushes to the black ant colony with weapons, chestnuts, stones, slingshots, and even bug spray at nightfall. For now, there is peace in the black ant colony. Even the ladybug has fallen asleep. She has a dream that a family of ladybugs flies over serenely. The ladybug wakes up and goes to the top of the anthi because she misses her family. Here, she notices that her other wing is starting to grow back. This means the ladybug will soon be able to fly again. Her heart is full of joy. Early in the morning, a buzzing sound wakes up the black ants. It looks like a huge army of red ants is marching toward their home. They are already loading their slingshots with stones. The shelling of the anthill starts with no mercy. The black ants try to defend themselves by dropping cotton swabs, tablets, and salt on the enemy, but the red ants' bombs do much more damage. When the black ant queen finds out what's going on, she sends the leader and the ladybug to the ant scientist. He looks through his stash and gives his friends a box of matches and firecrackers. The firecrackers are put on the roof of the ant hill by the black ants, but the enemy isn't sleeping and is already getting ready to storm the entrance to the ant hill. When the leader of the black ants opens the box of matches, he finds just one. He looks at the directions on the box carefully, and then lights the match. He squints because of the stress. His antennas turn. The firecracker is set off by the commander. It spins around and drops on the battlefield. The explosion kills a lot of red ants, but the single match goes out right away, and the enemy attacks twice as hard. Then the ladybug remembers that before she met the ants, she saw a box of matches that people had left behind. She tells the ants right away and says she'll fly down and get the matches, but she needs help getting off the ground. Her friends make her a paper airplane, but the ladybug starts to fly on her own soon after. The black ants are really hoping that she will be quick. Because her second wing is almost fully grown, the ladybug can fly to the right place quickly and without much trouble. She tries to lift the heavy box of matches, but then she sees a spider coming in. He picks up the box easily and takes it to his bed. Right behind him is the ladybug. By evening, the spider is back at home. He lives in a toy castle in an empty tube. The ladybug gets into the spider's home by being sneaky. He needs matches to fasten, it turns out. But the ladybug can't do anything because a toad grabs her as soon as she lands. From behind the window, the ladybug jumps and grabs the window sill with all its legs, but the toad keeps pulling. So, the toad's toy castle falls on itself, killing it. The ladybug is asleep and thinks again about flying over the meadows with her family. She soon wakes up in the spider's cottage. Happy to have gotten rid of them, feeds the ladybug and gives her the box of matches with understanding. The ladybug takes the matches and flies off to help her friends. On her way, she hears the fly's crazy laughter and sees them making fun of another ladybug. Then she drops the matches and runs to deal with the people who are making trouble. The ladybug draws attention to herself and runs toward the highway. Just now, a car is going by. The ladybug flies toward with ease. At the last second, it dives to avoid hitting something. The flies land on the ground after hitting the headlight. Immobilized. The fly hurt the bug, so the ladybug goes back to help it. Says nice things to him and promises to come back. Soon, she grabs a box of matches and runs with a victory cry toward Dan Hill, who is badly hurt. She flies over the army of red ants and brings the matches to the top of the ant hill. Her friends cheer her on. Now the ants have all the firecrackers and matches they need to set them off. They spin around, drop to the floor, and their explosions light the ant poison in the tank. The red ants have to squeal and run away from the battlefield. The red ants are killed, but there is a real fire around the hill. In the main hall, the black ants and ladybug hide. They hear a strange sound all of a sudden. A plane flies over a hill and dumps a lot of foam on the fire. Even though the fire is out, the foam keeps eating away at the hill. 
Get out from under the rubble, pretty ladybug, and take a quiet look around sometime. The ladybug grew up and went back to her friend, who she wants to be saved from the flies. The two of them now have five babies who can already fly. The ladybug family flies over the field and enjoys the peace. The black ants are working hard to rebuild their ant hill. Friend, the ladybug hasn't forgotten about her ant. They get together in a beautiful spot and watch the sunset together. And the story end here. What do you think about this story? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like the video, subscribe and activating bell for notification until the next video. Thank you so much for watching.